guys, welcome to a new video on Fake and Real just for you. Today, as promised, I am going to show you how to clean up your gastro back, aka Brazil Solus Sage Barista Espresso Machine. So the first thing you need to do is actually turn it on. Let the water flow a little bit. So what you're gonna need, and if you have this, perfect, if not, no worry. You can buy this online, eBay, Marketplace, AliExpress, doesn't really matter. It's a water filter. In this case, it's the Gastrobac brand. You have these different varieties. Breville has this as well. I changed mine a couple of days ago, so I don't really need to do this, but I will show you how to do it. Also, these tablets, these are for machines like these. Also what I'm gonna use is this little toothbrush to clean out those hard to reach places. Once that happens, we're gonna start with the water filter. And as you can see, I have a date indicator because I already replaced it. It says the second of the month, so in February. So in February, this will need to be re replaced. Now, as you can see in on the images, what you need to do is get a glass of water. I'm gonna show you. Let's use my milk jug. We use a glass of water. You're gonna leave it there for that filter. You're gonna leave it there for five minutes. After that, you're gonna rinse it with the part head here and then assemble it you put number two so when the month of february is there you know okay i need to replace my filter it's very easy to remove you just clip it out so removing you have these pressures here here push it squeeze and then remove it this little filter here you're gonna put in water if this is a new one leave it in there for five minutes in the meantime we're gonna do a lot more leave it for five minutes leave it let it soak let it do its thing clean out your water tank as good as you can all right so filled up the water halfway before starting even to clean the inside of the machine let's Use that beautiful filter. If you don't have it, no worries. Use it without. Rinse it off. Put it on there. Under the faucet, just let some stream water go through it. Keep going, keep going, and then push it back in. Make sure it's secure. Give yourself an indication when you need to replace it. Because we are now Almost at the end of November, I already put December as a um, as a marking as the beginning, and these filters can go about two to three months, depending on how much and how often you use them. Close it up. Let's clean it. Put the filter back. Ah. Also, you have. An inscription how to clean your machine with that tablet you need to use that rubber cover put it in your piston put the tablet in put it in the machine push these three buttons and let it do its thing for five minutes and that's what we're gonna do so that's back there I'll take this clean up any debris coffee in your filter also clean up the head on the inside what we're gonna do let it run for a little while Just clean that head Side. 
take a that rubber. If you don't have this, you can easily buy this from any store you want, especially online. Reveal is also selling them. Cut it open. Put the tablet in the center, just like this. And then turn off your machine. You're gonna put it into position, tighten that up. Then you're gonna push these two buttons together simultaneously. There you go. Now, now it's going to clean up the group head, or the boiler on the top here. This is gonna take five minutes, so I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So it's all done. Now we're going to push the double. Now doing that, just do this once or twice just to clean out the excess of dirt in the piston. So we're gonna clean this up with the faucet. You're gonna fill this almost halfway and then put some vinegar in there. Not much, just a little bit. There we go. We are going to clean up the spout. So put it on the side there. Gonna turn this lever and let the steam start. Now you're gonna do this for maybe one or two minutes. it anymore give it like 10 seconds to 20 seconds and then just stop it right there toothbrush get your tree flush we're gonna clean up the sides here and also I'm going to clean out the bean reservoir the coffee bean reservoir remove that you have a lot of coffee beans here so you're gonna just pluck them out don't worry it's not working at the moment but still be careful all right, so I removed everything. I even used the vacuum. You can remove this little lever here. Just twist it counterclockwise and you can remove it, clean it out, use a vacuum or a small dust buster. If you're done, put it back, lock it in place. And as you can see, the light goes on. That's all good. You're gonna pull the lever again for steam. You're gonna let that, all that vinegar out and just blow it out for just a couple seconds. Once you've done that you have this small top here if you have the right tools you can actually twist it out and then remove it all the way and look on the inside and around just to clean up all that old milk or any other chalk that you have sitting inside of this tube in my case that's all been done by the vinegar I can actually show you so I don't have the official tool, but I'm just using pliers here, but with a towel, 
so it doesn't damage. So, as you can see, there is no milk debris here. There you go, as you can see, no milk debris. It's all clean. Looks good. I'm gonna pull that back. In most cases, you have that small tool of your Breville or Gasserback or Sage or whatever. You can actually use that tool to clip this loose and then clean it up thoroughly, but in this case, my vinegar did its job. So, if you want to clean up your head here, what you can do is do a double shot and I'll show you the process. What you're going to do is close it, you're going to open it, close it, open it, going back and forth. Just cleaning out the top there. Just going to do it one more time. Do a single shot this time. Water is now empty. That's actually how you can clean up your group head here. Just fill it up with water, close it up, let it loose, throw the water away, and repeat that process. Always use cold water for refilling your espresso machine. It's the best thing you can do actually. And the last part is the reservoir. Now what we're going to do here is remove it very gently because it's already full. And I'm going to throw this out. Be cautious because it is hot water. Now this is separate. I'm gonna brush this clean. This is two pieces, so we're gonna remove this and clean this out as well. And then your main reservoir user brush to actually go in between those corners clean up thoroughly there you go there you go all clean i'm gonna put this back close it up there you go now this is a process that you can do every two to three months. Every time you need to refill or replace the filter, do this process for the whole system. What you can also do is you have a screw right here and you can, with the torque included, remove the metal. Right. Take your pliers, get into that hole where you remove the screw, wiggle it a little bit around, and voila, there you go. This is that filter that is in the group head. Clean it out, sometimes you have that coffee, old coffee in between those corners and on top here, just clean it out, clean out the top here with a brush. And I also try to do it as the method that I showed you before, would let the water flow and just hold it down, hold it down, push it, Close it, open it back up, throw it back, and do this a couple of times. Hold it, close it in, open it up, and throw it back. Try to do that a couple of times. Put the filter back in place, screw it back in with your torque. Not too much pressure is needed, just a little bit, so you can always remove it and put it back when needed. So again, recommendation is every two to three months. All right, guys, so I showed you a complete full cleanup of the machine. My apologies for the camera angle and the fogginess of the video. I tried my best to show you guys how to clean this machine the best way possible. Um, so again, clean up your water tank as well. Don't use a sponge, mostly a brush would actually help much better and a brush with soft 
is like the best thing you can use. Clean up your grinder, unlock it, clean up the inside with a small vacuum, remove all the, all the debris, use a toothbrush to clean out those little annoying areas, as well as this bottom here where your coffee, your grinded coffee comes out. Your group head, remove your filter, clean up the group head there, Use the method I just I also showed you with cleaning up with your piston. Don't forget your steamer. Steamer is also very important. And if you want, you can remove this small head here and you can see if your steamer is as clean as you think it is. Also your reservoir, clean it up properly, use a brush. So in general, I hope this video helped you guys. And if you have any comments, put them down below. And again, thank you so much. Hopefully, till next time.